Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Kevin Rogers, and I'm excited to share you two amazing painters by two incredible waters. It took me a long time to settle on these two painters, but they appealed to me the most because I wanted to explore this depiction of black men and art have changed over time. The two paintings I'm excited to share with you today are Charles Wilson Pills, Portrait of Yarrow, Mamut, and Walt Schoon's Athlete in Whiteface. The portrait of Yarrow Mamut was painted in 1819. Athlete and Whiteface was painted in 1934. They are both portraits of black men painted 115 years apart and tell two different stories. I'm sure also share many similarities. Just how much has perception and depiction of black men changed over time? The term genre in art reference to two things. On one hand, it's reference to the type of category of painting. On the other hand, it classifies as a contact or topic of a particular picture. During the Italian Renaissance, the hierarchy of genre painting went like this. The highest ranking category was history painting followed by portraits, journal painting, landscapes, animal painting, and lastly, still life. Portraits like the two we're discussing today were the second highest genre in the academic hierarchy. Primary included paintings of heroic individuals, private portraits, and self-portraits. Charles Wilson Bill portrait of Yarrow Mamut, Walt Coons athlete, and Whiteface are both oil on canvas portraits. When we're looking at how paintings are analyzed, they are two kinds of analysis that are done. Formal analysis and contact analysis. The formal analysis refers to things like identification, artist name, title, or piece, date, and site of production, previous and current location, techno, no data, dimensions, material, general conditions, theme, function, structure, and composition. Contact analyze reference to, to things like identification of the subject, history, subject, and the relation between iconographic and shapes. Let's start uncover, uncovering the noticeable things about Charles Bill's portrait in Yarrow Mamut. We already know that is an oil on canvas portrait. Like most of Bill's paintings, the background is very dark. Most of the colors Bill's used in his portrait are dark. Also, like most of Bill's portraits, we the subject of Yarrow Mamut is very naturalism state and sitting calmly in a chair or on a stool. His body posture is very relaxed, has a slight grin on his face. We see that Mamut is mature in age. We notice, we notice this by the puffiness around his eyes, his long nose, large ears. We see gray in his beard and his hair. We also see evidence of his age by wrinkles in his face. The size of the painting itself is 24 inches tall by 20 inches wide. While most of the portrait paintings were very, very in size, this was one of the smallest one. The portrait he painted of George Washington at the Battle of Princeton is 7 feet 9 inches tall by 4 feet 9 inches wide. Let's move on to some distinguishing features of Walt Coons, Athlete and Whiteface. It's also an oil on canvas portrait. Painting, like most of Coons' portraits, the painting, the background is dark and subject is very bright. When I first was trying to interpret this painting, I was under the impression that Coons was trying to depict the subject in a de de derogatory way. I thought he was using the painting to show that if a black man wanted to be taken serious, as a professional athlete, he would have to paint his skin white as a way to dehumanize himself. After some research, I quickly found out that I was very wrong. Walt Coons loved the circus and the stage in many of his paintings. He painted with his subjects in circus and stage makeup. 
The subject face looked almost emotionless, but may be deep in thought and looked very mind like. The ball on the stage and the makeup makes the subject look playful. The painting is 40 and 1 8 inches tall by 30 and 1 8 inches wide. Let's talk a little bit about the difference between the two paintings. When it comes to a few elements of art, we'll talk about the subject, color, texture, and each painting. The pale painting is a is of Yarum Mamut, a devout Muslim forcibly brought to America from Guinness and West Africa and sold as a slave in Maryland. He was educated, he could read and write. In 1796, at 60 years old, he gained his freedom. Mamut was an entrepreneur, jack of all trades, who became known as the brickmaker, basket weaver, among other things he eventually owned his own home in georgetown and invested in a bank stock with columbian bank at georgetown portrait of yarrow Mamu is painted with a pellet a variety of browns tins and hunter green there isn't much contrast between the background of Mamu and oil seems to be blended together texture another element of art used to describe how something feels or looks portrait of a young rose Mamu is so full of texture, definition, the pain looks incredible like light. From the wrinkles on Mamu's face, his fuzzy sideburns, the way that his clothes gather it. as he sits, the way of his coof sits on his, his head, viewers can almost insert himself into the studio and feel Mamu's skin material on his, of his clothing. It feels very warm and cozy and safe. It almost feels like Mamu is a great storyteller and is why over his grandchildren to tell them adventures of his past. Of all research I've done, I can't, I can't find any information about the subject himself. What I can find out is Walt Coons liked painting stark figures against dark backgrounds. He enjoyed painting performers and circus acrobats and clowns. While this may to, uh, to depict the love for the circus and the stage, it may present a very different vibe when it comes to racial tension and the effects of the Great Depression in our country during the 1930s when this portrait was painted. Athlete and Whiteface was a remarkable contrast between the background and the subject. Coon was known for his style to paint bright figures against dark backgrounds, and athlete Whiteface. White face is no different. Against the dark background sits a black man dressed in white from head to toe. His hair is covered in an off-white cream colored cloth. His face is powerly white, almost like of a clown. His eyes and lips are dark. He's wearing a white top, white pants, has light tan hands, and are holding a rust orange colored basketball. Athlete and white face is very flat. The texture athlete's face has decent detail, but even with the athlete's expressionless face, it should have created some kind of line in the forehead. There's a little bit of natural gathering of his clothes where he would typically wrinkle when someone is seated, but it could have been painted with more fill. Other than the muscular build of the subject, it all just feels pretty flat. Even basketball doesn't even have typical bumps that typical basketball do. The ball also doesn't have any lines more closely resembles one of those balls seals balance on their nose. The picture you can see here of Charles Wilson Pill. Charles Wilson Pill was born in 1741, Queens and County Maryland, and died in 1827. He was an American painter, soldier, soldier, inventor, scientist, politician, and naturalist. He is best known for his portrait painting and leading figures of the American Revolution for establishing one of the first museums in the United States. Charles Wilson Pill's 1819 portrait of Young Ro Moot is a great example of the rope painting because it shows emotion, contrast, and the movement is very rarely represented in the ethnic of religious diversity in America and early America. And Outstanding example of Phil's late 1920s.
nationalism style. My mood was a paint and what appeared to be his everyday clothing, which is another key element of Baroque pieces. Baroque is a period of artistic style that started in the 17th century in Rome. It is characterized by exaggeration of motion and clear detail used to produce drama, exuberance, and grandeur. Wilkins was born in New York City in 1877 and died in 1949. He grew up in Brooklyn, working class family. He loved to draw. He sold his first drawing to a magazine when he was only 15 years old. He loved for his art. His love for his art and his desire to fine tune his skills took him to San Francisco, Paris, Munich, Netherlands, Venice, and eventually made his way back to New York. He would go on to found the Associates of America, painters, sculptures, and organization, often responsible for the army show. Walter Coon's athlete and white face is a great example of expressionless painting because his emotions bring out the inner state of the artist doesn't portray the subject accurately. Expressionism is a modern art movement originated in Germany at the beginning of the 20th century. Expressionism is marked by distorted images, exaggerated of feeling, and depicts the realm of fantasies. Fantasy expression tends to be emotional and sometimes mystical. It is clear that Pill's personal history has made an incredible impact on his art. He is present in the armed forces and his politics is shown in every single piece of paint. Historical forces also claim into play for Pill. He painted countless portraits of leading figures of the American Revolution. George Washington sat for Pill a total of seven times more than any other painter. By accident, Pill founded the first natural history. History Museum in the United States of Philadelphia. Let's move on and talk about Walt Coons and the influence he had in his career. On the top of being surrounded with all that comes with being a New York City native, he was a huge fan of the circus and the stage. His paintings reflect his love for the performers. The Army Show, also known as the International Exhibit of Modern Art, was shown as organized by Associates of America painters and sculptures in 1913. It was the first large exhibit of the modern art, as well as many exhibits that had been held in the vast spaces of the U.S. National Guard armories. The difference in the depictions of black men between Pill and the time period of Kunis is incredible. And the aspects of the art has come to fauvism, cubism, and later expressionism has paved the way to, for artists to pass passionate outside of the portrait and landscapes and still life. I think it would be so exciting to see how art will evolve over the next hundred years. Many doors will open for wild, wild creativity and self-expression in the best way to play a major role. Even look at something as simple as color. Look at the difference in color is available now and which color choices come. Assumptions of feeling. There are more ways to even, even now to display texture. The, Evolution of art will be so fun to watch. Thank you so much for joining me today to dive deep into Charles Pill's portrait of Yang Ro, Lamu, and Walt's Hoon athlete and whiteface. I hope to talk. I taught you something you didn't already know about these artists and their paintings. I hope it has sparked excitement for you to encourage you to explore the history of art styles and that inspires you.